All right, y'all, we're down. We're finally back to checking here. We had a ton of rain go through and get this tree out of my way. We had quite a bit of rain go through a couple days ago and it really messed everything up. So I've just been waiting for this water to go down, but this drowner right here is all messed up. And if you guys can see, there's been beaver going up that quite recently. Considering the fact that the water was probably up to about here up until just a couple days ago. So yeah, but this drowner's all messed up. So hopefully there's a beaver on it. We'll see though. I think I feel some weight. Oh yeah, I see a tail. There we go, just a little guy, but I will take it. Holy cow. It has been a while since I've even been able to see my traps, let alone check them. So, there we go. Just a little baby, but we will take it. Stay, there we go. All right, we'll do a remake here real quick. That that beaver's caught in a Duke number four. Now in my last video, I caught a really big beaver here. Well, not really big, but probably around 50 pounds, which is definitely a good one. Get my rebar shoved back in there. bank all slicked up a trap reset here slide my lock up and then, guys I'm gonna put my trap right in here for that front foot I got that beaver by the back foot but he probably got in it as the water was on the rise and the trap was pretty deep but I, I'm assuming I don't know but get my caster back in there and off we go we got i'm remaking everything today hoping to break that hundred here in the next check so anyways guys on to the next one all right guys <coughs> oh lost my voice we're in another one here and you guys can see right there looks to be a nice beaver laying there so we'll get him pulled up here Oh yeah, really nice beaver. That number four, wow, that's that's an interesting way to catch one, but I'll take it. Getting them out of here might be interesting. There we go. All right, just splash myself. There's our beaver. <sighs> Nothing huge, but nice one nonetheless we'll definitely take that it's been a slow day today which doesn't really surprise me but i've been remaking every single set because of that water that came up so it's taken me a while that's for sure nope 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 there we go Both the beaver we've gotten today so far we're in number fours too. The old 85s I guess are just tired of tired of catching for me or something. I don't know. Alright, that'll hold. Come in here. I'll dig out our bed. Oh man. He jacked that thing all up. If you guys can see that, he messed that dog on that trap all up. I don't think there's any way I'm going to be able to... Well, let me see. Well, I did get it reset. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but only one way to find out. Then once I get that, once I pull these traps, I'll fix it the right way. But for now, that'll have to do. So get my caster, put it right back in there. 
how I had it. And off we go, guys. All right, we're still down in that creek where I just caught that one, but I wanted to show you guys this. So this water, when it came up, it, all of this was probably underwater. I mean, I'm assuming it all is because the mud's still wet and everything, but this is what I look for after something like that, guys. If you guys can see all this mud right here, that is all since the waters went down. So that is all within the last couple days of sign. So there's definitely a lot more beaver in the area for sure. I mean, you can see, you know, tracks in here. Definitely haven't gotten them all out of this one yet. So we'll keep plugging after them. All right, guys, we don't have one here, but I kind of want to show you what I've been doing all day today. It wasn't catching beaver, that's for sure. I only got two of them right now, but if you guys can see, hopefully I didn't cloud it up. Oh, my shadow's going Oh, now it's cloudy, but my trap's all silted in in there. And that's what happens from that water coming up is it'll silt in my traps like that. So as I do is I'll reach down, grab the chain, and then I'll grip my trap, and then I'll shake it off like this. Get all that stuff out from underneath that pan. And then if there's no silt on the bed, I'll set the trap right back down. But if there is silt, then I'll pull all that silt out to get a nice hard bed again. And then after that, just relure it. Hopefully it'll have a beaver here in a couple days for us. So yeah, that's what I've been doing all day is just cleaning everything up, getting it all ready to go for another check or two. So anyways, guys, we'll keep fixing these suckers. All right, y'all know where we're at. Spot with that 330 right here. This set has been really good, really good. This looks like a nice beaver too. I messed this sucker all up. I got a foothold gone too, guys, so we could have us a double here. I'm really hoping. It looks like there's one laying out there, so I'm really hoping we got a double here. That'd be awesome. Get this all fixed here. I'll show you guys again how I get them out of these 330s without setters. Well, he really messed up my wires there. I really don't want to mess up my waders. But just pinch it between your legs like this. Oh boy. There we go. Okay. Pinch it between your legs and squeeze. There's one. Can't get this. You guys don't want to put them wires against your waders. They'll poke, poke pretty nasty holes in your waders. There we go. He's out of the trap. Nice beaver. Two year old. Throw him up there. Now let's go take a look at this foothold here before I remake this one. I'm really curious. See if we got a double. I haven't had a double in a long time. Whoa. Pretty sure I see one floating out there, guys. Pretty sure. But it's really deep out there, so we're about to find out. Oh boy. Oh, I feel weight. It's not very light either. Oh yeah. There we go. Big hind foot catching that TS-85 there. Can't ask for much more than that. As far as a back leg catch. There we go. Oh, All right, I'm just gonna remake this quick. Since I'm basically stuck in here. Oh, come on. Get up there, boss. Stay. There we go. Man, guys, it is silty in here. Wow. I'm just gonna try and remake it right in here. Do 
just digging out my bed a little bit here, getting all this silt out of there. That silt will make your traps not work. Heck yeah, guys, we just doubled our day's catch. That's what I like to see right there. It's awesome. Put that back down in there. Oh, I don't like that. There we go. Boy, this silt in here is really bad. They got this thing dammed up really good. And once they do that, the silt will settle like a pond and it'll get interesting. You gotta constantly check on your traps to make sure there's no silt underneath your pan or anything too. Use this stick here. There we go. Now let's see if I can get my leg out of here. Oh, hey. Okay. I'll lay you over to next to your buddy here. There you go, guys. That's two beaver at this spot. I'm gonna get this 330 remade here and we'll be moving on. All right, guys. Well, I just got back to the house here today. <clears throat> we ended up with four. Pretty bad, but I'm battling Mother Nature pretty hard right now, too. It brought that water up two to three foot here a couple days ago. And up until probably last night, my sets were unrunnable for the most part. So, yeah, well, we got back four, puts me at 94 on the year. So, we're going to get to that 100, guys. I remade every single set that I have out today. It's all got fresh lure on it. All the traps are all cleaned up. There's no more silt underneath the pans, so... Hopefully the next video I'm showing you a lot more beaver than this, but hopefully it's at least six. That we're going to hit this hunter, guys. We're just grinding it out right now. Mother Nature Mother Nature decided to make it really hard when we got so close. So, Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video, and until next time.